Welcome back you beautiful people. I'm out here shredding some step ups and I'm going to bring you along and give you a few tips on how to master this type of jump because it's one of my favorite jumps I love to ride to have fun on because you can go super fast into it, you can go big air on it and the consequences are quite low and they're super predictable. So let's get cracking because uh, I'm looking forward to hitting this thing. It's big. For some of you viewers, you're probably wondering, what is a step up? Well, let's look at this jump in front of us right here. This is a step up, where you're landing, is a meter higher than your takeoff. So you're jumping up and up and up and up and you're gonna be landing on a jump which is pretty much way higher than your takeoff, giving it the name the step up. Also, the consequences are lower because you're jumping up to a landing. You're not doing it like a gap jump where you're going up and you're falling onto it or a step down where you're going all the way down to another landing, which the consequences are gonna be a lot higher. Now everything's quite visual. You can see your landing as soon as you take off you're already looking at your landing. It's not blind, which makes the step up super fun to ride. And it's really easy to gauge your speed and judge how fast you need to go to clear the jump compared to some of those blind gap jumps and drops. Okay, before we get into hitting a big step up, you gotta be confident with your skills of jumping. And if you're not, there's a few links in the description down below on a few basic how-tos on jumping Go and watch them before you just throw yourself in the deep end on this. But for some of us, or most of us, we've got it. Let's talk about speed on hitting this. Okay, when it comes to riding step ups, you wanna go a lot faster than you would on a regular straight jump or a step down. Now you wanna be approaching this jump 100% committed to the speed you have. A little tip is, go, fast, go a little bit faster than you think, and if you're comfortable with the speed you have, then just send it, man. But if you are struggling, on the speed, engaging the speed on this thing, then look at the riders that are actually riding the jump, ask them for a few tips, or even follow them in to the jump, because that's a great way to gauge the speed on a step up just like this one. For me, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna commit to the speed I have, and just drop in, and just get some air. But before we do that, let's talk about the takeoff, because that's the next step. Yes, on step ups, the takeoffs are generally a lot higher and longer. That means you're on the lip for a longer period of time. Now, when you're on the, on the lip for a long period of time, you need to slow down those movements. You don't just wanna pop straight away right off the lip just so you can get to the top of that landing. Generally, if you're starting to feel like that, that means you're going a lot slower. What you wanna do is do all the popping at the top of the lip as soon as you take off. Now, when it comes to a step up, you don't really wanna scrub it unless you're super comfortable with it. Now, we've spoken about the lip, now hitting it and attacking it, it all starts back here. So this is where you start to get into that attack position, you crouch, you're starting to drive your body weight up the lip. Now you don't wanna do that quick, poppy movement on a lip like this, like you would on a short dirt jump. This one, you wanna slow it all down, bring down those movements, slow it down. As soon as you start to drive up the lip, you're slowly moving your body weight to the back wheel and getting it, keep going with it, slowly, slowly, until you get up into the air, and that's when you do the pop. Right at the top of the lip, pop, explode, and let the wheel keep going up into the air, and then you'll feel, when you're in the air, you'll start to find that point where you're at your peak, and that's when you start to level up the bike, and you get to the landing. Talk about the landing, let's go over there. Now, if you do all those movements very quickly on a long, steep lip, just like this one, it's got a tendency to throw your body weight over the front end and send you into a nosedive, or even worse, over the bars and end up in a bit of a heap on the other side, and that's never good. So you just wanna slow down those movements up that lip. Like I said, bring your weight back slowly, get to the top of the lip, pop, because you've got a lot of time on this big lip. Now you're in the air. Now you start to realize that you're at your peak. So you start to nose into that landing, but then you suddenly realize that the landing is a lot closer than you think, which is great because when you start to learn tricks, the consequences aren't that high because you're stepping up onto a landing, you're not dropping down onto something that's quite far away. And that's what's great about step ups. You're not really falling from a peak high onto the landing, you're just stepping up onto it. Unlike a super steep dirt jump where you have to pop and nose in, whereas the step up, you're going up and up and up 
and the landing is already there. You just have to be super mellow, it's super predictable, just get that nose and just drop it in nicely. That's what's good about it. You don't have to think too much. Right, let's hit it. I absolutely love step ups. I basically grew up learning all my stunts on step ups, just jumps like this, because the consequences aren't that high, super predictable and fun to ride. Now there's three things I want you to take away from today. And that is, if you're gonna hit it, go a little bit quicker than you think. Number two, slow down that movement on the lip. You don't wanna have that quick poppy jerky motion off a long steep lip like this, because it's gonna send you over the bars. Number three, that landing is gonna come up really quick. So you wanna get that bike up into you and you don't necessarily have to nose it in, just land two wheels on top. And the last one, bonus one, number four, have fun. Because step ups are all about having fun with mates. Today, I had Jack. And thank you, Jack, for towing me in. See ya.